waxa ay mid case emergency ah oo degdeg ah oo urgent ah in Somalia's capital Mogadishu two doctors are in the fight of their lives there is an intensive care unit serving COVID-19 patients, just 20 beds for a population of 16 million. Officially, less than 100 Somalis have died from COVID-19. But the graveyards are filling up fast. BBC Africa Eye goes in search of the truth behind the official death figures. How is the country with one of the world's weakest health systems really coping with the COVID-19 outbreak? Somalia's fragile government is bracing itself for the worst. The first COVID-19 case is reported in mid-March. There are fears that many more will fall victim to the virus. Martini, one of the country's oldest hospitals, is designated by the government to treat patients. These are the doctors who have volunteered to work on the front lines. By mid-April, Dr. Hilwa and Dr. Abdeladif are working round the clock to treat COVID-19 patients. Then, you know, I got to go but behind the masks, doctors despair at the inferior medical equipment they have to work with. Without a functioning ventilator, the doctors lose their battle to keep this patient alive. People are dying of COVID-19 in the Martini Hospital, but on the streets of Mogadishu, normal life goes on. The government is advising people to stay at home during the day, but few here can afford to follow that advice. <laughs> And as the holy month of Ramadan begins, mosques remain open across Somalia. Some worshippers believe their faith will form a shield. Some here may be resigned to the will of God. but ambulances continue to rush COVID victims to the Martini Hospital. This lady, Mama Fadumo, has been unwell with COVID-19 symptoms for more than a week now. As in the rest of the world, old age makes her more vulnerable to the virus. I'm Officially, Fewer than 100 people have died of COVID-19 in Somalia. But Dr. Hilwa knows that the real number is much higher because many people, even those who are seriously ill, refuse to come here. 
تتكا ما يرتيني هي جين اسبتال هي جين دي مش اس انت قولي وكل انت ايه في عندها مش اس اللي جين لها Images from one of Mogadishu's main cemeteries, Barakat, support Dr. Hilwa's belief that many COVID-19 deaths are going unrecorded. Back in January, this was empty land. Now, it's a large-scale cemetery. This is just one of several cemeteries in Mogadishu that have been filling up fast. <laughs> وحد أغاني ساعد منا هل بمشير منا على بكل يو يو هو جاي مري ساعد و و yeah آه بشي هرا there is no way of verifying but from the evidence we gathered it seems COVID-19 could now be one of the biggest killers in Somalia the deceased like many displayed symptoms of COVID-19, but died without ever going to hospital. Despite the fear that surrounds Martini, Dr. Hilwa and her colleagues are saving many lives. Mama Fadumo has recovered and is going home. Her son Yahya has come to collect her. Hospital Martini is a place where you can go to the hospital, and you can go to the hospital, and you can go to the hospital. And the hospital is a place where you can go. It's vital to have a lot of people who are living in the forest. I'm very happy. 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 Tragically, after decades of conflict, death is all too familiar to Somalis. This time, however, the killer is silent. But Dr. Hilwa and Dr. Abdul Ladif have not given up on their patients or on their country, Somalia.